Yes, Prof. S. I have been seeing your videos, your the names you are calling my mentors, you know, Prof. T. Joshua, Prof. Jeremiah Omoto. Now, listen to me. These men of God have impacted lives. They have impacted so many lives. They have healed hormones of sicknesses. God has used them to heal. And Masker's blog. What have you done? We know you. Who born monkey? Who born monkey like you? Who born monkey? I'm from Nigeria. Who born monkey like you? Yes, this is an evangelist, Deborah John, from Nigeria. I will send you my pictures if you want. I will send you my pictures. You are a threat to the body of Christ. A Satan like you coming out to judge men oh. of value. You call men, that has reputation, men that has done something mightily in this society, men that God is using so mightily, so, someone like you comes out to speak to you about Sino Poverty Joshua. Your end has come. If you don't stop this thing, I bet you in this 2024, whenever you are, we fish you out to that South Africa and your life will be destroyed. We are telling you nothing. I am I'm not working with you. Enough of this, your rubbish. We have had enough of all these things. Today you call Prophet Jeremiah names. Tomorrow TV yeah. Joshua. Next tomorrow Apostle Suleiman. Next tomorrow Mommy has been Joshua. Next tomorrow Joshua has been like. Next tomorrow Wise Man Daniel. How dare you fool that know nothing about spirituality? How dare you fool that knows nothing about spirituality? Open your filthy stinking dirty mouth to call a man that God has ordained a name that is not. So, yes, this is Evangelist Deborah John. As I said again, I am from Abia State in the Southeast. I'm an evangelist. Under the mentorship of our late Father Blessed Mary, Zio of T.P. Joshua, we all drew the whole world, the lovers of Synagogue Church of All Nations, the worshippers of Synagogue Church of All Nations, and the lovers of Jeremiah, of a Jeremiah. Golibu lovers. In Golibu brethren. Golibu we brethren. warn you and we are telling you to desist from this wicked act of yours. What wicked? It is becoming alarming. If not, we are going to find you in that South Africa and we'll fish him, you man. out and wait for what to happen to you. You devil, you demon, coming out to demon. speak against the servant of the most high God. Who Don't are you? Realize or recognize him Can't as you the devil. You are, the devil. you are looking you God. You, you, oh you, 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 senseless hmm? human being. Carefully pick him out her words. So give him very to, good insults and you call yourself an evangelist. Evangelist insults. Evangelist insults. How dare you, you sector. May God punish you and your generation. Mm. May God destroy your existence on this earth if you fail to repent. Repent because there's still time for you to repent from this evil ways. What do you gain? Cheap men followers that you are gaining, you feed them with lies. Those people that are blindfolded with you, your satanic cage of ways, and they follow you to comment your rubbish on your wall. This is from speaking against men of God. I warn you today. How don't you speak against men of God in your country, in South Africa? All you do is to speak against men of God in Nigeria. Who made you a judge over them? Are you their God? Are you the one that called them? Has it done what of what your God has used them to do on earth? Have you touched life? Have, have you changed destinies? Have, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you controlled those who are buried in? Who are in pain? Mm. What have you done in this society? What, 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 what record, track, record and track have you set? Mm. You have the gods, the effrontery, the audacity to come out and speak you against, against God's servant. We will fish you out wherever you like South Africa. We fish you out. Be careful. Mm. Stay away from men of God. I warn you for the last time because I will make sure you are destroyed. Oopa. I am telling you, I will make sure you are destroyed. I will make sure you are destroyed. Now, I don't know who made all these gullible followers. According to her, she says she's an evangelist. So an evangelist that could insult somebody and call somebody Satan, demonic, devil, bastard, 
warm, ring warm, all sort of things. Now you say you're under the tutelage or the mentorship of these people you mentioned, eh? Then you yourself, a demon. If you can recognize that prophet, prophet X or Prof X is a demon, then you are a bigger demon. Why do we do this to ourselves as Christians? Religion, the, the part of religion we have in Africa is quite different from what is out there. And then you say you're from Nigeria, like you're like Nigeria is in the moon somewhere, is in space or in Mars, like you are going to fish him out. Oh yeah, now fish him out and kill him. That's what you guys are good at. Oh, you're gonna fish him out now. You said he's miserable. <laughs> That's your thoughts. That's what you see about him. But that but this video goes to say a lot about you. If it's, if this sound this this voice record is real it goes to say a lot about this god of men and at what extent they can go to get any evil thing done so my own opinion is discernment you have got to be able to discern who is false and who is real and the funny thing is that when you see the real ones you don't believe them you either say that they are having coily hair or this one has blistered his skin but this particular person is serving God. But you prefer to go to the ones that are looking all holy, pre preaching the Bible upside down, perverting the gospel. That, those are the ones you prefer to go to. But this year, I'm telling you, God is exposing charlatans. God is exposing God of men. God is exposing wicked and false preachers of the gospel of our lord jesus christ so your ability to have the spirit of discernment so you will know that even the church where you are in right now is false you have got to be able to discern my name is adriel and i am the Maskers blog i would like to know what you think about this video or this voice note in the comment section let me know what you think about it is it right for a man of god a prophet and evangelist to place a call through to somebody or to even see somebody and begin to insult that person Heaping insult upon insult on this person. Yeah? All because he spoke out. Yes, he's not Nigerian, but I think he does this worldwide. It's not just for Nigerian preachers. Then you call him and say you fish him out and do all sort of things to him. You call him a Satan, a devil. Then what that makes you what exactly? Please like, share, comment, follow me, guys. As the case may be, subscribe. See you on the next episode. Bye, guys. There's love in sharing. Share this video. Share this video. Bye.